the philosophy of greed, unveiling the paradox of human desire. In the realm of philosophy, few concepts are as perceived, as continuous as greed. Embedded within the fabric of human nature, greed has been both contented as a moral filing and celebrated as a driving force of progress. At its core, greed embodies the insatiable desire for wealth, power or possession, often at the expense of others. Yet, delving deeper, one discovers a multifaceted phenomenon that defines simple categories. At its most basic level, greed can be seen as a natural extension of self-preservation. Evolutionarily speaking, humans are wired to seek resources that ensure survival and reproductive success. In this light, greed emerges as a survival mechanism compelling individuals to accumulate and hoard resources in anticipation of future scarcity. However, in the modern context where abundance often outweighs scarcity, greed manifests not as a means of survival but as a pursuit of access, a rentless quest for more, driven by a deeply integrated sense of inadequacy and insecurity. Philosophically, greed raises profound questions about human nature and the nature of desire itself. Is greed an inherent trait hardwired in our in DNA, or is it a learned behavior that shaped by societal norms and culture value? Aristotle, in this Nicomachean Ethics, suggests that greed, or pleonexia, is a result of a misguided pursuit of happiness through material possession rather than virtuous living. According to this view, greed arises from a fundamental misunderstanding of the human good, wherein wealth is mistaken for eudaimonia or flourishing. Moreover, greed presents a paradoxical dilemma within the frameworks of ethics, while greed is often vilified as vice, driving individuals to exploit and harm others for personal gain. It also underpins the capitalist ethos of competition and innovation. The pursuit of profit fueled by self-interest and ambition has led to unparalleled economic growth and technological advancement. Adam Smith famously argued in The Well of Nation that the pursuit of self-interest guided by an invisible hand can paradoxically result in the greater good for society as a well. whole. In conclusion, the philosophy of greed offers a nuanced understanding of human behavior and motivation. While greed may stem from primal instinct of self-preservation, its manifestations are deeply intervened with societal, cultural and economical factors. As we navigate the complexity of globalized world, grappling with issues of inequality and environmental degradation, our evolution of our relationship with greed is imperative. Only by transcending the narrow confines of self-interest and embracing a more holistic conception of flourishing can be we hope to reconsider the paradox of human desire and forge a more equitable future for all.